Well, the one thing that hadn't gone dark is people coming into the border, and they're coming in daytime, they're coming at night. I've been down there a lot of times all night long, and uh, that's when most often you would see people coming in. The coyotes acting for the drug cartels would bring them in when they were told to. Um, but that has not stopped. It has continued unabated. And just in the last couple of weeks, we've had a bill that the Democrats brought to the floor that goes way above and beyond um, DACA, and it would practically, pragmatically allow uh, gang members to come in unimpeded. Uh, it, it, it is just incredible. The amendments Republicans tried to make to clean it up and to protect our country, Democrats vote them, voted them down one after another. And as I said on the floor during the debate, Every time, a Border Patrolman make this clear, every time that anybody in Washington talks about amnesty, legal status, DACA, any of these dreamers, it encourages thousands upon thousands to come flooding into the United States. And they're not all people that just want a good opportunity. Uh, you got gang members uh, just in the last 10 days or so, we had the biggest group from Africa we've ever had, 116 in one group, not just one or two blending in, 116. I mean, it is, they're coming from around the world. We're on, on track now to have the largest group come in illegally ever. It, it's just incredible. And it, the things that we're doing here in Washington are doing nothing but encouraging more people to come in illegally. The crisis has not abated despite what the president's tried to do and he had had a victory here in recent days with uh, Mexico saying they're gonna help out and they're going to try to stop people from coming across Mexico into the United States. But uh, you know, if we could just get Mexico to enforce their own immigration laws, I mean, they're pretty draconian immigration laws. I looked at making a bill some years back that would have the United States immigration laws mirror those in Mexico. There are some that are so draconian we couldn't do, but, but just to be strictly enforcing our borders, you either go to jail or get thrown out, and there are no uh, releases on your own recognizance there in Mexico. Um, but just to wake Mexico up as the president has now and get them to start enforcing their laws and trying to prevent people just parading through Mexico would be a big deal. It's against Mexican law to come across the country for the purpose of coming to the United States. They just hadn't enforced it. So, and as I've told the president and uh, part of uh, Border Security Caucus and the Freedom Caucus, we've talked about this numerous times, from my experience, the best thing we could do immediately, and we wouldn't even have to do this in Congress, is every immigration judge is simply appointed by the Attorney General. Uh, we should set up big tents. Uh, we could use trailers, you know, from, we still got trailers around from, from Hurricane Katrina. Uh, but bring tents, whatever we gotta do, to the border, and I don't mean, you know, 200 yards from the border, bring them right to the border. And somebody comes across and claims asylum, you walk them right into the tent, and they stay there until they have their hearing, and then 95% that do not get the asylum because it's not legitimate, you take them right back across. And one other thing though, and I've been advocating and talking about this since I was a felony judge in Texas, until the border secure, it is ridiculous to talk about DREAMers, DACA, amnesty, legal status, any of those things, because it doesn't matter. I mean, I've, I've sentenced people to prison who ended up, you know, right after they went to prison, I finally took them and deported them. And one guy said, how did you get back to my court so fast? I sent you to prison. He said, well, as soon as, uh, shortly after he got to prison, ICE came and got him out and took him to Mexico. I said, so how did you get back here? And he said, well, as soon as they drove away, he came right back across the border. I mean, this is insanity. You secure the border, then we can work something out about people that are here. But once 
people see they're not going to be released for four years on their own recognizance, so 95% don't come back for their hearing, uh, they stop coming. It, it slows the flow to a trickle.